Hi, I'm Noah, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up Easy Feedback in only a couple of minutes. Here I've got an empty Unity project with Easy Feedback imported from the Asset Store. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the Project Settings menu and select Easy Feedback. The first thing we need to do here is authenticate Easy Feedback with Trello, so I'm going to click Get Trello API Token. This will open up a new browser window uh, requesting access to my Trello account. In this case, I'm already logged in, so um, I can just go ahead and click Allow. But if you do, don't already have a Trello account, you'll need to create one. As a note, we recommend for security reasons that you create a new Trello account for Easy Feedback specifically. Once you've created your account and logged in, you can click Allow. And then I'll just take this token and paste it into the Easy Feedback window here and click Authenticate with Token. Now that I'm logged in, I can see that I don't have any Easy Feedback boards on my account yet, and so I can click New Board to create one. Here you can add the, uh, set the name of the board. In this case, my Feedback board is fine for me, so I will click Create Board. Now that the board is loaded, we can look here and see it in the Project Settings window under, my, under Boards here. So now that we're connected to Trello, we can go ahead and create a prefab to use in our scene. So in this case, I'm going to create an Easy Feedback Text Mesh Pro prefab. And then I'm just going to save that in my project. So I'll put that in prefabs, and I'll call it Easy Feedback. So now I have an Easy Feedback prefab here. We'll just put our project settings somewhere we can get to it later. So I have an Easy Feedback prefab here. I can just drag that into my scene. And then, since I don't already have an event system, I'll go ahead and also add an event system. Great. So now when I hit play, I can go ahead and press F12 here, and it opens my, my form. So now I can submit a little test report. And we should see up here in the corner, feedback submitted. Now, if we go back to our project settings, oh, we got to exit play mode for this, I think. If we go back to our project settings, we can help hit open board in browser, and that'll bring up our feedback board where we can see our new report. So here it is with the basic detail, um, system information, additional info, log, and screenshot. So this is all the out of the box stuff. So if you don't use the input system, you're all set. Your feedback form is set up and ready to use in your game. However, if you're using the input system, there is a little more setup. These options are only available if the input system is in use in your project, so take note of that. But if you're using the input system, you need to switch the uh, input handling for easy feedback from the legacy system to the new input system. And the easiest way to do that is just by right-clicking on your prefab, select Migrate Form to Input System, and then a new wizard window will be opened. Here we have a few inputs. And uh, what you see here are the toggle, show, and hide actions. Now, each of these is optional, but we recommend setting up at least hide and toggle or show. So in this case, you want the, the user to be able to show the form and then uh, optionally also have a key to hide it, like escape. Um, so I've already set up some input actions. Let me just get this. <laughs> I've already set up some input actions here, uh, toggle and hide. So I'm going to go ahead and select those options. In this case, we'll select Toggle and Hide. And then I just click Migrate. So what that does again is that replaces the input components uh, from the legacy input system with the input system components that we can see down here on my feedback form. And then if we hit Run again, You'll see that I can press the key again, and I will submit a test input system report. Hit submit. And of course, that one appears as well. So if you want any more information on uh, these components or the input system support, please check out the documentation uh, online or in the PDF. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please reach out if you need any help setting up your feedback form. Um, there's a handy help button right in the project settings window. 
And uh, if you could, please be sure to leave a review on the Asset Store. Thanks.